This is the only chance ETSU has of beating North Dakota State. I'm Marky Bilson. The one thing Colorado may have exploited in their victory against the Bison is North Dakota State is susceptible over the middle in their cover two defense. Possibly the result of missing All-American safety Cole Wisniewski with a foot injury. Additionally, middle linebacker Nick Kubitz missed North Dakota State's game with Tennessee State last week due to injury. The problem is ETSU head coach Trey Lamb was talking about having Jalen King try to scramble more in this game. He's not Shador Sanders. ETSU has a center from Appalachian State, a running back from Connecticut with a 77-yard touchdown run. The Bucks' two leading receivers are tight ends, and I'm sure the flankers can run post patterns. Take it to the bison in the center of the field. And procuring the use of a slingshot wouldn't be a bad idea either. I'm Marky Bilson. Hit the button and subscribe for the best ETSU commentary.